Hey, what's up, guys? Palmetto Dissonant, and today I want to share with y'all my version of a civilian QRF or quick reaction for slowdown. And this could also be viewed as a civilian direct action or potentially a suburban or neighborhood defense loadout. But whatever you want to call it, that's that's the lens through which I viewed this setup when building it. And right here I have just a duffel bag that I've had for a while. I've used it for multiple kits, and that's what I had all this stuff that I'm going to present to you guys now was in this bag prior to me starting this video, except for the rifle. So... There you go. There's a lot. There's a lot of bags that are available. You you know you do whatever you want to do. But this is what I have laid out to present to y'all as a civilian direct action kit setup. So got the 11.5 SBR with a red dot laser aiming device, uh, IR light, white light. So 24 hour capable gun to work in regular conditions and also with night vision. So night vision may or may not be something that you need to take with you i don't have it here right out here on on display but if you needed to or if i wanted to i could add it to the bag and and have that capability as well depending on what the scenario actually was and how long i planned on being out and what hours etc so got the rifle got war belt battle belt whatever the hell you want to call it uh over here would be glock 19 with red dot and light and then we got two spare pistol mags here and then we also have uh rifle reload cat tourniquet and trauma kit and then a roll up dump pouch here at the bottom so um, armor would probably be a consideration in a scenario like this so we got this is just a surplus combat vehicle crewman helmet that has some add-ons done to it and this is what I have for a ballistic helmet right now. There's tons of options out there. There's a whole lot of more modern stuff out there. I will be upgrading this at some point, but as of right now, this is what I have. So that serves the purpose of a ballistic helmet for me at this point in time. Then we've got our plate carrier here, which is the Warrior Assault Systems DCS with level four plates. Got comms on here with the shoulder mic. Um, got extra comms cables and an extra uh, longer antenna. Got a stubby on there now. Got a little bit longer antenna. And got a push to talk set up in there in case I want to route my comms through my headset. Whether it be on the helmet or if I wanted to take a standalone electronic ear pro and wear it over a ball cap or whatever. Then that's another option also. So we got five magazines and a trauma kit. And then on the back... We got our radio pouch here and then we've got our hydration bladder one and a half liters of water and then over here what we have is the shawl concepts re-up bandolier for extra ammo we got four more 30 round magazines a smoke grenade and a chem light in this pocket here on the end and over here i'll probably add another one of the pool ring smoke grenades probably one of the bigger ones that that have higher output than the small one that's in here now so i got a few of those laying around so i'll probably add that later but this is good because i can throw this on over the plate carrier you can throw it on over a chest rig you can carry it in a rucksack there's tons of flexibility you can use it as a standalone rig if you want um you can put it in a bag with a with a sbr or something like that and have a good bit of capability available to you with a pretty small footprint and low signature so great and great for plussing up on ammo because at that point that will give me 11 magazines for the rifle including the one in the rifle so i commonly keep a 20 rounder in the rifle but you can swap that for a 30 or uh, you can put a drum in there whatever you want to do that's it's totally up to you and what you have available to you so but like i said heavy on ammo got running armor for sure because the expectation is that this is a uh, more of a high stakes scenario than than you know what would be common for for a civilian to be faced with but it's not outside the realm of possibility like we talked about earlier with all the weird shit that we've seen and all the chaos we've seen and we are coming up on another election cycle so who the hell knows what we should be expecting but probably some bad shit so uh, you may be called on to to do certain things or to protect your family in some sort of a way or fashion 
and um, you know have the more the more tools you have available to you at your disposal then and the more training and knowledge then that's just gonna put you in a in a better position so that's what I wanted to lay out here and show you guys today and if you wanted to add other stuff then you could like I said if you want to add some some snacks or something like that then you could but again the this is for a short duration type of scenario this isn't you know being sustained out in the woods this may be a situation where you just throw this stuff on over your clothes that you were wearing at work that day or something it may not be bdu and camouflage and face paint and all that stuff because i mean not every situation is going to call for for that type of uh setup so this right here is flexible enough to where it can mesh with you know a lot of other setups as far as clothing and stuff like that if you just had to throw it on over your work clothes after a day of work then no problem you know you can, you can do that and you can take care of what you need to take care of i'm out of here i'll see y'all